Hello, lovelies. I am so excited to welcome you. This video is welcome week video. So whether you're joining me today as we're as I'm recording it, I'm about to post this afterwards, or you are joining the Align and Amplify Club down, further down the road, this is your welcome week video. I think this is a foundational exercise that I would love everybody to focus on this week. So every week I'm going to be doing a video. This is your theme for this week. Okay, so it's basically what we're going to end up with is a little bit of a visual. It may be backwards for you. It says my align and amplified life with a few areas. So what I'd love you to do is I'd love to invite you this week to really lift your energy, lift your vision and allow yourself to imagine what a truly aligned and amplified life looks like to you, for you right? So it's going to be specific to you. And I'm a bit of a geek and I love to create these, I call it pieces of the pie. So later on, we're going to look at your income pie. That's a different week that we're going to focus on that. Um, but this week, it's really your big picture week. So what I'd love you to do is you can watch this video through and then do the activity when you've got time. Um, and when you do the activity through, you might want to watch the video again and just stop it and, and work alongside me. You're welcome to do that. But basically grab a piece of paper, the bigger, the better. So I'm gonna do it on here. Draw a really big circle, taking up most of the page. Okay. Then we're gonna draw a smaller circle right alongside that. So we're basically making kind of the crust of the pie as such. I'm wearing a very creative top today, but I'm not necessarily much of an artist. So it's gonna look like that. And then we're gonna put the lines on and I'm literally gonna go down and across, 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 done, okay? So I'll get you guys to do that too. Down and across, 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 done. Across, across, done. So you'll end up with pretty equal size pie pieces, okay? It's no, it's no major if they're not equal. Then we're gonna put the categories in, which I will type out for you so you don't need to remember them all. But what I would love you to do is think about what does being aligned and amplified in different areas of your life look like? So I'll read out my categories and I will type them out for you later. Emotional support. What are you currently doing for emotional support? So you might write in here, you might write, you know, see my counselor as needed or whatever, or um, chat with my besties. You know, what do you do for some emotional support? Me, I would be like essential oils, um, but, you know, lunch with friends, you know, whatever it is that you do to fill your cup to be emotionally supported, etc. The next one I've got, doesn't matter the order, but the next one I've got is family and marriage slash love. So what does it being aligned look like? A true, honest, your know, friendship with my loved one. Um, speaking my truth to my dad, that's me, <laughs> etc. So right in there, what does that look like to you? If you were truly to live an aligned life where you're living in alignment, and sometimes you'll see me do this, where you're living in alignment, you're not missing the boat, you're not like sweeping things under the rug, you're living in true alignment. You're like, I am truly feeling like I am showing up at how I would like to be. I am expressing myself in a way that feels true and aligned for me. I have friendships, I have relationships, the clients, the offerings that I have in my business feel aligned, like I'm excited for them. I'm not doing something that doesn't align with who I am now, because who you are now is so different than who you were a while back, even two weeks ago, two years ago. The next category is health, fitness, wellness. So me in this little bit, I'm going to go fitness class two to three times a week, walk the dog two, two to three times a week. So I'm writing down like feeling empowered. How do I wanna feel? What am I specifically doing to maintain that feeling? You know, eating healthy choices, you know, et cetera, staying hydrated, whatever that looks like to you that feels truly aligned. For some people, it might be not food shaming myself or not, you know, you know stop catching myself if I do negative self-talk about my body. Right. So you got to make it really specific to yourself. The next one, money, opportunities, and physical items. 
So money opportunities and physical items. So what is it that you would love to be doing? What is it that you would love to be having, whether it be a physical thing or an experience that you want to be having specifically, how much money would you love to be earning? And I encourage people to do that, to do that per month, how much you would love to be consistently earning, because a lot of this stuff is going to bring up some questions for you that you might want to ask in the group. And a lot of the stuff we're going to dive deeper in as we go through the different themes of the week. Mentors, personal and professional development slash discovery. Okay, so who do you have that are your, that is a mentor for you or a, or a guide or an inspiration for you or a coach or a friend that you can lean on? What personal or professional development are you working on, you know, are doing and, and pouring your time and love into that you feel is helping you? So both on the personal discovery journey and also looking at your professional development. So you might be doing some training to upskill in your area of expertise, but also making sure you're doing something for your personal discovery or personal development, okay? So we're doing that in that piece of the pie. Next one, clients and services. Again, making sure that the people you're working with are in alignment with who you are and how you are. You don't have to say yes to everybody. You don't have to be like, I'll take anyone who will you know, book my services. Uh, and that you can obviously, uh, tailor that but through your marketing, through your messaging, through the way that you're showing up, the language that you're speaking, making sure you're being in full alignment, you will then be calling in your people. And I'm so excited that I called you, you guys in to join me on this journey. So clients and services, you might go through and look at your services and think, goodness, I've been doing you know these five services and this one, I just I don't need, every time someone books that, I just feel, oh, it's like, okay, honey, <laughs> ditch that service. If it makes you feel, oh, like it drops your energy, it drains you, do not offer that service anymore. Just wipe it off your business card or your brochure or, and take it off your website. Uh, make sure that you're bringing your services into alignment with what you want to be focusing on as well. Next one, friendships and peers. How are those relationships Maybe there's someone that you've recently let go of in your life because they drain you. Maybe um, looking at your peers. So that's colleagues, that's people probably in this group and other groups that you're in or other friendship groups that you're in, making sure that you're in alignment. People that you feel like you can be yourself with. You don't have to edit your thoughts and be nervous about what you're gonna say next. I mean, these are things I teach my, my teenage kids, but we have to do it too as grown up adults. We gotta be like, who are you hanging out with? And are they making you feel like a better version of yourself, like that you can be your true self? Or do you feel like you have to edit your thoughts and, and really watch your words, etc.? So that's the friendships and peers section. And again, you might notice in one of these, like one or two of them that there's, some question marks. You're like, I'm not really sure. How do I find these people that I want to align with? And again, we can dive into that as we carry on. Next one, physical spaces, physical and natural spaces. So where are you physically spending your time? This is my lounge. It's, I love this lounge. It's North facing. It's really sunny. It's warm. I do have an office, which you'll sometimes see me in, but like my physical spaces is the kitchen table still 10 years in business. I love it. In the afternoon, I follow the sun around to my bed and I usually maybe will do some work, but often read a book, like an actual physical book in the sun in my room, right? The other physical space I love in my house is my bathtub. I love hot water with Epsom salts and oils and it's like my happy place. So think about what are your physical and natural spaces and places that you can spend, that you do spend time in or that you can retreat to to fill your cup. In the summer, it's my greenhouse. I love my veggie garden. I love being outside in my own nature, in my own property, but I also love to go for walks and I also love to go to the beach. Not in the water necessarily, but to the beach to fill my cup. So write down some thoughts for yourself about that. And then guess what? We're back, we're back to the start. Those are the categories that I selected. You, I, I would advise that you use those as a guide. You can totally use exactly the same ones that I've used, or you can, you know, add a few different ones. And, and if there's a few things um, that are a bit different or more relevant to you, but I think that should pretty much cover the big picture of how you can align and amplify your life and business. Yay. So I'm excited. So what I would love you guys to do once you do this activity, it's total optional homework. Remember, 
I don't do guilt. I don't do shame. I don't do perfection. That makes life a lot easier. So I'm inviting you, but you, it's not mandatory that you, once you've done yours, and that this isn't complete because I still need to go and fill it out, right? Once you've done it, if you if you feel called, if you feel like you want to, um, take a photo of it and put it in a comment in this video. And that will be really cool because one of the things I find is that we can get to know each other better through this, but also we can piggyback off someone else's ideas. We can gain inspiration from other people. Um, I know they're going to be hard to read, but you can, you can basically see, get some ideas from what other people have done and you can include that in your own. And you're going to find the same thing when we do the coaching sessions that you'll, I'll be talking to someone and coaching them or someone else will be giving them some guidance and you'll be thinking, oh my goodness, that is so relevant to me. I, I love that. I never would have thought of that, even though they're not spe specifically speaking to you. So there's so much magic uh, doing things in a group setting like this. So I'm excited to see your photos of your Align and Amplify pie <laughs> um, later on. So hopefully within about a week of watching this video, like sometime throughout this week of you watching this video, you can pop a photo if you feel called below and go ahead, like I said, and put any questions in the, in the group. So you can just do it as a post in the group, or you can look for the specific uh, image. If it's specific to social media, you can put it there or visibility, you can put it there or else just, just put it in the, the timeline and I'll find it and tag me. And I'm so excited to help you. All right, you guys, we'll see you later. We'll see you at the zoom call.